Hi everyone, Nin Yang here. I'm sharing a faux painting technique today. With the help of some Tambo dual brush pens, we can easily achieve a low line watercolor look with stamps. I'm using Waffle Flower, a bunch stamp set, and coordinating dies. The set of markers is called Soda Shop. For water-based markers like these, I like to use smooth Bristol paper. I have trimmed the Bristol paper into small pieces so I can rotate them easily when I'm painting the flowers. First, we're going to stamp the flower outline. Use the side of your brush tip to quickly color the flower stamp. No need to be perfect here. Just quickly go over the flower stamp, half on it and stamp onto paper. Remember to use the side of your brush so you are now running the risk of damaging the tip. I halved on the stamp and stamped onto paper. Now we are ready to paint. Using the brush tip of the same color, I'm going to quickly paint the flower one petal at a time. After some experiment, I found the petals look the best when I don't think too much about it. Just quickly go over the outline and fill in each petal. It's always easier for me to paint from top to bottom, so I'm rotating the paper so I can always paint the petals from top to bottom. Uh, if you find it easier for you to do left or right or bottom to top, you just need to rotate the paper the way you need it to be. Okay? Isn't it pretty? Now I'm going to fast forward the next part of the video since it's the same technique, but you can see how I paint the rest of the two flowers. As a finished touch, I'm going to use the yellow marker to dot a few dots in the center of the flower. As for the rest of the two smaller flowers, I just color it in. Uh, remember to leave a few white space there. Don't color the whole thing in so it can complement the wild flower look. It looks so natural and beautiful. You can color as many flowers as you want and then die cut them out for your project. Uh, I'm going to die cut these flowers out and come back to show you how I put together two cards with them. Now that I have all the flowers I needed cut out, I'm ready to put them on cards. On my first card, I stamped the flowers with stamps on the card base and then put the painted flowers on top. Since the flower stems are stamped directly on the card base, I can easily stamp on top of it. So I'm finishing the card with the sentiment stamped in black. Love you a bunch. After adhering the painted flowers to card, I found the whole card front looks a little plain with just the flowers. So I decided to add a little border in top of the card using the bullet, bullet tips of the markers. I used the print marks on the ruler as a guide to help me draw straight lines with even spacing at the top of the card. I stamped the flowers too close to the right, so I decided to trim off a quarter inch from the left to give the card a more balanced look. And now we're finished with our first card. Easy, right? Let's move on to our second card. I started my second card with a piece of a flower I stamped and colored earlier. I was experimenting with the watercolor look, but didn't like how the petals turned out. So I'm saving this piece by die cutting it out and put the painted flower on top. Since I know these two pieces will fit perfectly together, I'm just putting some liquid adhesive on the bigger piece and then put the printed flower on top, adhering them together. Press down a little. I usually press until the glue dries so I know they will not fall apart. I'm drawing two lines very close to each other on this card 
so I can get a thicker line and a thinner line. But all of these could have been easier if I have my T-shaped ruler. I just couldn't find mine, so it took me a little longer to line them up. But we get it done. I then added a piece of blue cardstock to the bottom of the card for some color contrast. I used foam adhesive as the top of the flower and used liquid adhesive and the stem to adhere the flower down. This way we can add more dimension to the card. It adds a very interesting look to the flower. And I finished the card with a simple sentiment stamped in blue ink. And there you have it, two cards using the same faux painting technique. It is super quick and easy to do. And I hope you will check out our blog for more creative ideas. Thank you for watching. Bye.